if you're traveling to Barcelona soon and you're struggling with packing and trying to figure out what to bring, what not to bring, then this video might be helpful for you. I am traveling to Barcelona tonight and I will be there for 10 days. I'm packing carry-on only, so I'm not checking a bag this trip, but what I am doing is sharing everything that I am packing on my trip with you. So you can watch this video if you're just curious to see how people pack for Barcelona or you just are struggling and you're looking for some ideas, you can take a look at how I packed and compare it to maybe some items that you're thinking about bringing and kind of adjust things according to your needs for your trip. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Kim. I share travel tips for women on this channel. I have my luggage open in front of me right here and let's start with the luggage itself that I'm bringing. So I am bringing one carry-on bag and then one personal item. My carry-on bag is the Away Bigger Carry-On. That is my ride or die. That is my favorite piece of luggage. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So before we jump into the suitcase, I'm actually gonna share what I am wearing on the plane. I, I don't really wear jeans a lot, but I kind of prefer loungewear, linen pants, trousers, things like that now as opposed to jeans, but I do have these jeans. So it's about an eight, nine, eight hour flight. I normally would never wear jeans this long on a flight, but I do try to wear my heaviest items on the plane and this is the heaviest piece of clothing that I have. So I'm thinking of wearing um, these jeans to the airport. Again, I might, I might change it and end up not bringing them, but I'm not sure. So I am, right as of right now, I am planning to wear these jeans um, along with this uh, Mickey Mouse sweater that I bought at a vintage store. And then also I am going to wear these Nike Hirachis. I will probably throw one of the shirts that I have in the bag on with this under the sweater. So that's what I'm wearing to the airport. All right, so here is my away luggage and this is everything that I'm bringing. So let's start on this side with clothing. Um, well, first I've got an air tag in there. I'm using packing cubes. I love packing with packing cubes. That is my preferred method of packing. I am using four packing cubes. I've got one here, a compression cube here. I've got one here and I've also got one in here on this side. So, uh, oh, and I've got, well, I mean, I've got a shoe bag here, so that's, I think I also consider that a packing cube, but I've got that there. So let's go into my larger packing cube, my compression cube, and let's open that up and see what I've got in there. Oops. All right. So the weather is gonna be about high 70s Fahrenheit during the day and around six in the 60s in the evening. So I don't wanna be cold, so I do have a long sleeve um, pajama top here. This pajama top is a little bit weightier than I would normally bring on a trip like this. This isn't something I would I would normally pick to bring, especially since I'm trying to pack light. And I just, I really can't stand being cold, especially when I'm sleeping. I wanted to bring something with a little bit more, a little bit of a thicker material, but not too thick. Um, Next, I've got some workout gear. I do have to work out on my trip. So I've got two light workout shirts and I've got a pair of leggings. So that should be pretty easy. Underneath that, I've got uh, the matching pants to the pajama top. And then underneath that, I've got two pairs of pants, one kind of like cargo, they're just cotton high-waisted pants that I got at a thrift store. And then underneath that, I have some wide leg um, kind of trouser pants. They're not jeans, but they're not trousers either. They're just pants. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've got in there. Let's move on to the next packing cube. This, is this one. I do also have my um, electric toothbrush here that I kind of just stick in the corner. Here I have my charger to my electric toothbrush and also my night guard and um, retainer are also in here. Yes, I still wear a retainer. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open this one up. This is a small packing cube from Eagle Creek. That compression packing cube there is from um, CalPAC. This packing cube, I have one sports bra. I also have a long, just kind of thin pair of black lounge pants. And this is what I'm also gonna use as PJs because, because I am gonna be there for 10 days. I only brought that one PJ set. I brought these pants because I'm pretty sure I might end up doing like one, maybe one small quick load of laundry at a friend's if I can. If not, I do 
have some laundry sheets that I will show you. It's in my personal item, I believe I'll show you that later. I have another pair of pants that I can use to, to sleep in as well. I have a uh, short sleeve striped t-shirt that again, I got at a thrift store. And then I have two, two, three quarter sleeve-ish linen tops. And then underneath that, I have two cotton uh, tank tops. So that's the, I'm only bringing what, one, two, three, four, five tops. So my thought and idea is to make it versatile. I can probably get like maybe six outfit combinations or so from that. Because that's what's in this medium packing cube. All right, so let's continue. I just kind of threw that there just so I <laughs> remember where it goes. Um, I have this um, packing cube that was here and this is also another Eagle Creek packing cube. This one is, um, for underwear so I, i've also got in here a pair of shorts just one pair i don't know how warm it's going to be during the day and also in the evening i know it's going to be pretty cool but i brought these as an option just in case i want them five tops four bottoms and then also that sweater over there and then here i've got this workout resistance band that just to move my body so that resistance band is for that let's move on to shoes i'm only bringing two pairs of shoes i'm packing in my eagle creek old um shoe bag the ones i told you that i'm wearing to the airport these are so comfortable and these are going to be really great fantastic for walking and then the other pairs of sh pair of shoes that i'm gonna bring are these i think it's pronounced teva is it teva or teva i think it's teva teva sandals these are fantastic i absolutely love these sandals they are so great and um they're really comfortable so i also feel like i can walk a lot in these and i won't have any blisters or anything like that so I do have a lot of space in the shoe bag so if i do see a nice pair of sandals or a nice pair of shoes in barcelona spain has some really great shoes so if i do see a pair that i like and i want to buy i can just add them here to this bag so all right so we've covered clothing we've covered shoes let's go to toiletries so um, I've got toiletries in here and then I've got some in here. So this is a toiletry bag that I've been using. It's from CalPAC. I'm not going to go through everything that's in here. I think that's just probably too much. If you are interested in seeing what's in my toiletry bag, I can probably do a separate video. So that's what I've got for toiletries. So here in this side, I have some hair stuff. Because I am going to be going for 10 days, I do anticipate I'll probably need to wash my hair at least once. So I do have this bag from Base. It did come in a set. No, it came in a set of two. This is where I keep all of my hair stuff. Last but not least, my last packing cube here in the uh, in the luggage. I'll share what's inside. I have a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, I have, so the things that I will buy, if I do buy any clothing items, are gonna go in this packing cube. But in it for now, I do have some Sour Patch Kids and some deodorant, and this is for one of a friend of mine that i'm staying with she asked me to bring her some tom's deodorant and some sour patch kids because she loves them so i am bringing that for her i'm also bringing these products for another friend of mine and then in here i've got some socks some fuzzy socks that i'm gonna sleep in i also have um my sea to summit uh, portable line for drying clothes and i also have some laundry soap sheets i'm bringing this which is um a deadbolt I believe for all you other solo travelers out there I am bringing this deadbolt with me um, for security in my hotel room so uh, that is also in this packing cube but other than that you know once I give my stuff to my friends and all that stuff it's gonna be pretty empty but so any clothing items or anything like that that I want to bring I'm gonna put that in here so that's what's in my carry-on item I'll quickly walk you through what's in that middle area there in the suitcase and then we can move on to my uh, personal item. Um, also have this fanny pack, which is my favorite fanny pack ever. I got it at a thrift market in Berlin and it is, I got it for super cheap and it's just a leather fanny pack and this is what I'm gonna carry around with me uh, as I'm walking through the streets because I like it because it's lightweight, it's crossbody, so I can have everything in front of me um, so that I can keep everything on my person to avoid being pickpocketed. I also have 
this bag. It's a Packet Sport Eagle Creek bag. It's a wet bag, but I use it for dirty clothes. So I stick my dirty clothes in here and I can roll it and seal it. It keeps my dirty clothes separated from my clean clothes. It also keeps the odor out. So this is what I like to use. I also have a canvas bag. This is one that I got at a Broadway Market in London. I am bringing this because if I do want to go to the grocery store and get some snacks and water and stuff like that, oftentimes at grocery stores and little corner stores in Barcelona, you have to pay for the bag. So this will kind of help me avoid having to pay for an extra plastic bag that I probably don't need. But also, because I will be doing a lot of walking, this is easier to carry groceries and items that I may have bought. And if I do want to buy, I don't know, a pair of shoes or clothing items, I can put them in this bag in, instead of the uh, shopping bag just to easier to carry around. So I have that in there. And then I also have this microfiber towel that I use for my hair. I have a few of these. They're from Diva Curl. They're old. I've had them for many years. I've got about four of these. And so I do bring this to uh, dry my hair because I do air dry it but after I've washed it I do kind of scrunch it so I do have one of these those are all the items that I put in this middle part I also wanted to note too that when I'm packing another thing that I do which I'm sure a lot of people do is since the wheels are down here I try to pack uh, all my heavier items on the bottom so that when I when I pull my bag when I lift my bag the weight is at the bottom with the wheels so that's why I think the two most heaviest items I do have are my toiletry case which is pretty heavy it's got a lot of stuff in there and also this compression packing cube so I put those at the bottom of my suitcase and then I put the lighter items up top so it'll be easier to it'll be easier to carry so got that all right so let's move on to my personal item. Moving on to my personal item. This is where things get a little tricky because I'm a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed in myself. Y'all, my bag is heavy. It is heavy and it doesn't even have my laptop in there yet. So I, I might have to do some readjustments and we'll see. For my uh, personal item, I am bringing my travel backpack that I usually bring, which is the Fjall Robin Konkin 15 inch laptop bag. I do love this bag. I am looking into a couple of other bags, those, but for now, this is what I'm using. So this is it. And like I said, it's heavy. It's front pocket. I've got, there we go. So in the front pocket, I have a toothbrush, which I always bring with me. Even my my day-to-day -day life, I always have a toothbrush. I brush my teeth a lot. I don't know. I also have, now this is probably, I probably don't need to bring both of these, and this is probably something I can adjust, but I do have two adapters. I don't think I need both of these. So in the laptop compartment, I do have my iPad, and I have to bring my laptop as well. So in the main compartment, of my bag. I'll just start with whatever's on top. So I do have my makeup. I just put some makeup essentials in here. Next in my bag is a, a camera. This is my small um, point and shoot camera and this is what I usually bring when I'm traveling. Next I do have this little old wallet but this is where I keep my passport and vital travel information. So I have my Apple um, AirPod Max. This was also a gift. Um, this is from my brother and his fiance. And then I have this little bag here. It's from CalPak. This is also a pouch that came in a pack of three. In here, I just have some travel essentials that I keep in here. Next, I have my Kindle. I also have a portable phone charger here. I've got a, an, an external hard drive here. I also have my keys with my other Apple AirPods, my Birdie alarm. I have two little wallets. This is a coin purse that I got at a thrift market somewhere and I like to put my euro coins in here. So I keep, you know, my euros, my two euros, and this has my bills, my actual notes. I ha I do have euros in here. I have some glasses. I need my glasses because I can't see. I also have in here, now this is where I'm telling you it's excessive and that's why I probably need to take out one of the other ones, but I do have some in here. This is so excessive. I don't know why I do this, but I just get nervous about not having enough um, things to plug my, my phone in and stuff, but I've got these adapters to plug in um, to the European outlet. <laughs> like four of them in there. 
I don't know why I have so many devices it's weird it's weird because I'm such a I try to be such a minimal packer but I feel like if there's one thing I tend to overpack on it's adapters because I'm just afraid of running out of juice or not being able to charge you know this is a leather bag where I have all of my electronic cords this has some weight to it so this is adding to the weight but that is what's inside I also have my luggage lock I also am bringing forgot to show you of course my my little travel water bottle that I like to bring this is 16 ounces hey guys so I am leaving tomorrow this is my last day full day in Barcelona and I just wanted to show you how I organize my suitcase going back um, I'm pretty sure everything is going to fit. I might have to sit on my suitcase to make it close, but <laughs> um, I did buy a few things. So my shoes will go in here. I am going to wear my sneakers back. And then obviously I'm wearing my sandals now. And I bought a couple of books. So I've got one book here. I bought a pair of pants, a sweater, two shirts. I actually ended up buying a lot more than I um, thought I was going to. So I bought this book, which is a hardcover. I said I was only going to buy paperbacks, but I did not. <laughs> it's a pair of pants that I bought. Two more books. One book here, one book here. This is the only paperback I bought. These two are the other clothes I bought are here in this packing cube, like I said um, in the video when I was coming here. I also realized I never explained what this was. This is all of my nail stuff, and this is the um, one of the... Uh, pouches that comes in that base uh, pouch set usually when I bring my nail my nail stuff I do actually use it and I do paint my nails but I just didn't feel like it this trip I did wear everything I wore everything plus I also wore some of the stuff that I bought I have some dirty clothes here I was able to do a load of laundry at my friends so that was really nice so yeah that's that's everything i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment below and let me know your travel essentials because i love hearing about what people pack what they their must-haves what they must pack what they can leave behind if you are traveling to barcelona for the first time and just wondering what to expect definitely check out this video here and i will see you in the next one bye safe travels